<clears throat> can you really keep or obey the law of Moses? Hmm. Uh, many people say, yes, we can. We have to. Or some people say, oh, we are saved by the grace of Jesus, so we don't have to keep the law of Moses anymore. So we struggle and argue, and we get confused. But let me show you, there's one very interesting. When I was just beginning uh, to study the Bible, uh, I discovered this statement of Paul. So strange, I couldn't understand. And uh, let me show you this. Okay. Uh, Roman chapter 11, verse 32, it says, God has imprisoned all in disobedience. Or some other version it says, God has bound all men over to disobedience. God bound us, God imprisoned us, or God committed them all, all human beings, to disobedience. Well, <laughs> God made the human being not to be able to obey the law of Moses. What is it? then how can any human being can obey the law of Moses? Isn't that interesting? Uh, wow, what? What is this? And I thought, yes, I'm a Christian. As a Christian, uh, the law of God is uh, holy, righteous. And we must keep this. That's what the Apostle Paul used to thought. Used to think that he has to obey the uh, law of Moses. Isn't it? Yeah. So then he, be he, he, he become completely what? He's thinking completely opposite. We cannot obey the law. Why? God made us not to be able to obey the law of Moses. This is very shocking. Mm. And shocking and confusing. And I, I become, what's going on here? You know. Of course, in human thinking, when government uh, propose the law, and the government give the people of the nation to keep the law. But <laughs> this statement, uh, Paul says, "Uh, uh, God, it is God who make us, you know, right? not to be able to." keep the law. Why? Uh, it's a very a strange statement again. So that he may be merciful to all. Hmm. So if we cannot obey, when, when we were in the disobedience, then God can give us mercy. Well, we usually think that if we keep the law and become good person and a law-keeping person, then uh, somebody, you know, praise us. Oh, you're a good law keeper, and and somebody 
give favor to us. But no, in this case here, it is God made human being uh, unable to obey the God, uh, obey the law of Moses. And then, if you not really able to be uh, obedient, then God can show the mercy. It doesn't make any sense. It's totally contrary to we human, uh, ordinary human thinking. Well, you know, Apostle Paul used to think that way, that, the, okay, God gave us, gave me the law of Moses, and I will keep this. I'll be the best law keeper in the whole nation of Israel, and I'll be the first one to go to heaven. You know. But that's not the case. The Paul's mind changed. What Paul says is what? God made all of us, you know, unable to obey the law. What is it? Okay, the, let's see the next uh, slide here. The Galatians chapter 3, uh, verse 22. But scripture has set up all men under sin. Under sin means what? Uh, you have to be under sin. Uh, we are under sin. That means we cannot obey the law. What is sin? Sin is a transgression of the law. Okay? And the transgression means disobedience. And disobedience is, to the law is a sin. And uh, so Paul says, it is a scripture. Scripture means Bible. It's a Bible. A Bible is a God. Uh, word of God. The word of God shut up all men under sin. It is of the Bible. It is the God which made us not to be able to obey the law. Then that means what? The law is the law is not the kind of law we can obey. The law is the law we cannot obey. That's what it says. Mm. Is that interesting? Mm. Now, <clears throat> then it says, uh, Galatians 3, uh, chapter 3, 23, verse, now, before faith came, we were all confined under the law. Before faith came, that means before we 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 accepted Jesus Christ, and then we have a faith in His grace. Until then, we were. Confined under the law. It's the same thing, same same word in different way of uh, uh, of, of uh, expressing. Uh, so the we were confined under the law, kept under restraint. It's, a, it's the same thing. The imprisoned under the law. Until faith should be revealed. Uh, faith should be revealed means what? The grace of Jesus on the cross is finally revealed to us. Mm. Wow! Now we are saved. Why? Because we were, we were kept under the law. We were unable to obey the Moses law. And therefore, we were under sin. Terrible situation. A hopeless situation. And then Jesus came. The faith came. And then we were what? 
we were set free from the Moses law. Okay, next slide. Let's take a look at the law of Moses. There's many, about 613 different uh, kind of laws uh, in Moses, all Moses' law. But there is one here, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. You shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. It's this state, this kind of statement of law is not just in the New Testament. It's already in the what? Old Testament, in the Moses law. Well, can you obey this? No. So, God already gave uh, the law of Moses uh, like this, and then you must obey. If you don't obey, what? You're going to be executed. That's the law. So, we are uh, the all Israelites, the God's people who are under the law, unable to obey. That's what the uh, Apostle Paul finally found out when he met Jesus. Before he met Jesus, he was what confident that I can keep the law of Moses. And the people, you, you follow me. You look, you look at me and look how good I am in keeping the law of Moses. So this is the way you're going to be accepted by God. Then after uh, Paul met Jesus, uh -uh. we are not able to uh, obey the law of Moses. Okay. So Paul, he used to be Pharisees. He says he was keeping the law and he want to be saved by keeping the law. Now, that kind of uh, uh, Paul was saying entirely different thing, the opposite, for the human being, for no human being will be justified in his sight by the works of the law. Since through the law comes the knowledge of sin. Hmm. No human being can be saved by, uh, by just following the law and keeping the law or obeying the law. Uh, why? Because we cannot obey the law. That's what Paul says. God gave us this kind of uh, uh, Moses law, which says what? Love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. Uh, our, our selfish nature does not allow that. You know? yeah. It is impossible for us to be like that, to love our neighbor as myself. If you say, yes, I can, then that means what? That means hypocrisy. You, you, you're pretending you are able to keep the, that kind of law of God. You know? So you have to be honest to God. When you look at that kind of law, love your neighbor as yourself. And you have to say what? No, I can't. That's being honest to God. So if you you, but we say, oh, we can we can do that. Hmm. Uh, so when a uh, a lawyer 
young lawyer came to Jesus. Uh, this is a story in uh, uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 25. Uh, he asked, What shall I do to be saved? Uh, Jesus says, You are the lawyer. And the, tell me the, what the law says, uh, the, how, what the law writes, and how do you read it? And the young lawyer says, oh, love your neighbor as yourself. And you know what Jesus says? Okay, then do it. That means you can't do it. I think you are pretending you're keeping that law. The lawyer says what? Oh, who's my neighbor? He asked that, you know, Jesus that question. You know what that question means? Okay, if you tell me who is my neighbor is, then I'll do that. That's a hypocrisy. Okay. And he didn't know that he was not able to keep any law. And the law says, if you cannot keep even one law in the entire Moses law, you can, that means you cannot keep any law. Mm. So, <clears throat> let's look at the next line. Okay, that means, okay, Roman chapter 320 means that the, no, uh, no human being will be justified in his sight by the works of the law, since uh, through the law comes the knowledge of the sin. What it means is, if you look at the law, if you, if you read law, and you'll find what is the sin. And what is sin? Wow, I cannot love my neighbor as myself because what is the reason for that? Because I'm selfish. My, my normal human nature I have is what? Selfishness. How can I love my neighbor as myself with this selfish nature? Wow, that's why I cannot keep the law of Moses. That's why I'm a sinner. So that was the purpose of God when he gave us the Moses law. But all the Israelites says what? Yes, we will keep it. It was a big problem. Mm. Yes. So, so this Roman chapter three twenty means that no human being will be justified by the works of the law. That means no one can obey the law. That's why nobody can be justified by the works of the law, because you may act as if you're keeping the law very well, but however, you have what? Selfish nature, that's a sinful nature. Uh, that's why it's not possible for you uh, to be justified by the keeping the law. Okay. Now, okay, again, this is Galatians chapter 322, but the scripture declares that the whole world is a, is a prisoner of the sin. Each whole world is prisoner of the sin. This means God gave us Moses' law, which is what? Which is impossible for any human being to be able to obey. That's why uh, by the God giving the law through Moses, and he made everybody in this whole world a sinner. 
all sinners. Okay. So then uh, Paul says, uh, Galatians chapter 3, verse 23, before this faith came, Jesus came, we were held prisoners by the law. Hmm. More, uh, the God held us as a prisoner of the sin. You are a sinner, see? You cannot obey the law. That's why you're all sinners. Is there anyone to be able to escape from this prison? No. So that's what it says. So if you read the Bible carefully, then you'll definitely find that, wow, Moses' law is impossible for any human being to be, uh, to keep, to be able to obey. Then the whole thing turns around. Then if I was insisting that uh, you have to uh, you have to keep the commandments of God. This is commandments of God. We have we must keep it. That's about that's what I used to think. See? So and so they ask me, are you keeping the Ten Commandments? Yes, I am. Wow. You know, if you look at the Ten Commandments, the last one, the tenth, the last commandment is what? You shall not covet. You shall not be envious. Can you keep that law? No, I have to say no. But I don't know why I, <laughs> even though I read the whole Ten Commandments, I, I say, okay, I'll keep it. If this is the way to go to, you know, heaven, I'll keep it. I never knew I was not able to. I'm not able to keep the commandment. Then Paul says what? Uh, covetousness is covetousness is idolatry. Why? Because you are coveting. You're so envious for something. Then uh, you, you, you want that, what you're uh, 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 envying, more than what? God. So whenever you want more than God, then that's your idol, right? That's idolatry. So that's why when you look at uh, the Tenth Commandment, you know you are breaking, uh, you're transgressing what? The commandment number, <laughs> number two, number two, number three, you know. That all, that's what you do. So that's why if you, you break one law, then you, you, that means you cannot keep any other law. Why? Because all laws are the same laws. In one, uh, one law is what? Love your neighbor as yourself. The love is the end of the law. Love is the, the highest law. Okay. And that, that's what Paul says in, uh, um, uh, Roman chapter 10, uh, verse 4. Okay. Okay. Next verse. Now, look at this. Uh, Roman chapter 4, uh, verse 15 says, For the law brings wrath. But 
where there is no law, there is no transgression. Yeah. It means law brings wrath. Wrath means anger. Yeah. When law, law comes, and you look at the law, and you become what? You become sinner. Why? Because you cannot obey this law. And then God says, you cannot obey this law, then you are going to die. You are going to be executed. That's the wrath of God. That's the function of the law. That's the purpose of the law which was given to us. To do what? What was God's purpose giving? That kind of law which we are not able to keep. Why God is doing that? So God can save us with what? With grace. We can only be saved when we finally realize, oh, I cannot keep the any law. That much I am what? I'm a sinner. I cannot keep any of the God's law. So that's what Jesus did when he came in the, uh, Matthew chapter 5. Uh, he says what? He says, Thou shalt not kill. So you didn't kill any human being. That means you kept the law of Moses? No. You have been breaking the Moses law all the time. Why? Because uh, if you hate any of your brothers, that means what? That hatred is, uh, is murdering. Yeah. You're killing. Oh, okay. You didn't commit any adultery? No. No, you have been committing adultery all the time because whenever you look at the woman with what? With the desire to have her. You do that all the time. I want you to know you cannot keep the law of Moses. I, that's the purpose I gave you, that kind of law of Moses. So I can save you with the grace, not by the law. Why? Because by the law, it is, uh, for God, it is impossible to save us. So God gave his son to save us completely entirely by grace of God. Hmm. So, next, Roman uh, chapter uh, 5, 13. Sin indeed was in the world uh, before the law was given. Hmm. So sin was there before God gave Moses, his law, and uh, but sin was there before the law was given through Moses. Sin is not oops. Oh. Sin is uh, uh, sin is mm -hmm. uh, sin is not counted where there is no law. If there is no law, you don't know what sin is. Why? Because covetousness is normal human nature. Okay? So that's what Paul says. When I look at the Ten Commandments, I saw, thou shalt not covet. And finally I realized, Boy, I cannot keep this. Yeah. But for a long time, Paul was what? Pretending 
he was not coveting. And he, so he, he's keeping the law of Moses very well. Hypocrisy. So that's why Jesus, many, many times in the Bible, Jesus tell the Pharisees, hypocrite. You hypocrite. So, when there is no law, we don't know what the sin is. Why? Because law says the sin is our nature, which we call, for us, it is no more. Everybody covered. Everybody says when there's a very expensive, nice looking car passed by, wow, I wish I could have. So, next slide. Let's look at this. That's Galatians chapter 3, 13. Christ redeemed us from the what? Curse of the law. What is curse? Curse is death. Curse, death. Yeah. Curse of the law. Law is curse for us. If we didn't have law, we were thinking, what? We're all normal, right? Everybody covered something good, and so you covered, and you covered, I covered. We are normal, aren't we? So we are not sinner. That's the way it was. But the law comes. Wow. We cannot keep the law. That means what? We are going to be executed. That's the curse. From that curse, Jesus saved us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Jesus says. Yeah. So, Galatians chapter 3, 23, again, in different version, before uh, this faith came, we were held prisoners by the law. There was a law came, and, uh, uh, and then you can't go anywhere. You are dead. You're going to be executed. Uh, in Korean, Komjang <laughs> Mara. That's the way, that's what's the purpose of God giving the law, which is an unobeyable law. Why? Then he can give us give give people what a uh, uh, grace. Uh, the Paul was not able to accept the grace. Why? Because he he thought what I am good. I can keep the law. Why do I need to have a uh, grace? I'm able to keep the law. And I deserve to go to heaven. Hmm. Then, so we need to know. The most important, important thing as a Christian is we cannot keep the law. As long as you think you can keep the law, it's a problem. Because you are, you are not seeing this kind of uh, Paul's repeating statement it says, you know, again and again, we cannot keep the law. Hmm. So the Apostle Paul's new life, new start began that way, as he met Jesus finally. So, so okay. 여기까지 하고 
그래서 마지막 스테이트먼트. So, so. 지금 한, 한 30분 됐나? 네, 40분. 40분. 어, 시간 너무 길다, 그지? 네. 어, 그러면, 아, 아, 어, 네, 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 맨 마지막, 어, 한마디 하고, 어, 오케이. So, I will continue on the further. It's, it's going to be getting more and more interesting. And more exciting and it's just more surprising. So as I discovered that, wow, the law of Moses, the Ten Commandments, I was really thought, you know, thinking that I am, I am keeping the law, I'm keeping the commandment. Then the whole thing turns around and I have to rethink everything. So then, so many surprising things burst up. And I want to share that with you. And it's going to be very exciting and interesting. And it will make you so happy. And then finally, you'll be able to have, uh, able to have, what's in the language? Huh? Uh -huh. A firm confidence that the Jesus truly saved you. You know, so uh, we, we will see. Uh, so I wish you watch this continually, and uh, it will be uh, more surprising. Uh, so uh, I'll see you uh, next uh, lecture.